I'm not going to sit up here and lie and say that I've never been took advantage of because that just comes along with the territory. <laughs> going on my beautiful people it is your girl kitty i am an exotic entertainer i am a well-established sugar baby and in this video i will be doing a q a these questions were formed for me to answer about my exotic entertaining and my sugar baby lifestyle so let's just get right into it okay first question how long have you been dancing and being a sugar baby? I've been dancing and being a sugar baby for over 13 years. So I do have a certain level of expertise once I do speak upon these topics. I will say this, I did start dancing before the legal age. That's a whole nother story. We won't get into that. <laughs> okay. Next question. What is it like dealing with sugar daddies? Ooh, I can go on and on and on and on and on about that. Dealing with sugar daddies. Now, I have a plethora of sugar daddies. I have some older sugar daddies. I have middle-aged sugar daddies. I have black sugar daddies. I got some white sugar daddies, some Latin sugar daddies. Just as of recently, I started dealing with a Asian guy for the very first time, but, and it is my, well, one of my many professions. So of course you have to put the time in, you have to Put the work in you have to put the effort in what is it like dealing with them it is sometimes tiring and sometimes draining but that's what dealing with anybody <laughs> i am more of a introvert like i said this is a career so so i have to pick out the outfit i have to Think of the topic. I have to come up with the look. I have to remember what they like and I have to remember what they enjoy. And, you know, I just have to tailor and cater myself to that particular person. But that goes with um, basically being in a relationship. You know, you have to know who you're dealing with and you have to provide the things that they are interested in. And you have to couple that with being your true authentic self as well. So what is it like dealing with these sugar daddies all in all wrapped up in short? It's just like dealing with any other person. Okay, next question. Do I have children? I have one child. Do I want more kids? Yeah, I want more kids. Actually, after about, um, maybe about two years of me just going all in with my dancing career and my sugar babying career, I would probably have at least maybe two, three more kids. I probably want a total of maybe four to five kids or something like that. Now I know a bunch of um, sugar babies are like, no to the kids. No, 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 no to the kids. But all in all, I'm such a dope person and a bomb soul that I know that repopulating the planet with more people like myself would help make the world a better place. So I have one child and I would love to have more. So that answers that question. Next question. How long do you plan on dancing? In short, forever. <laughs> forever, in short, forever. Like, I've always been into performing arts. 
even in school I was a cheerleader I was on drill team I've always been active and I always been a dancer take a look at people like um Beyonce and Tina Turner this does not stop now I probably won't be in the club scene I'll probably eventually own like a pole studio or become like a pole instructor or something like that I am working with a pole instructor right now myself she is teaching me pole tricks and performing aerial arts and different things of that nature and believe it or not <laughs> Believe it or not, I've never really gotten into the pole tricks. I did more of the floor work. So, to answer that question in short, I'll probably um, leave the club scene. I still maybe got a good 10 years of actually hitting the club scene up left in me. But, I'm sure I won't, um, I'm sure I won't be in the club faithfully like I was in the past I'm actually retired from the strip club scene now I just decided to come back because like I said I wanted well like I've said in other videos I wanted to give my view I wanted to give my viewpoint of being a exotic entertainer and a sugar baby so I decided to come back and hit up the strip clubs and resurrect some of my old sugar daddies mix it in with some of my new sugar daddies and make sure that that is standing strong with some of the sugar daddies that has been around since the beginning of time during my hiatus and who is still here now so i've um i guess that wasn't a short answer but yeah tell you the truth like i've been out of the club scene for maybe five years now but I'll probably give it up all in all within maybe like another 10 years. But even then, like I said, I would still do like a pole studio or I'll probably become like a, I don't know, maybe a cabaret dancer or something of that nature because I, I enjoy dancing. I enjoy the performing arts. I really, really do. So, yeah. Next question, what's the number one tip for new dancers? The number one tip for new dancers, take your time, take your time. It takes time to learn your niche in this game. It takes time to figure out who you are. It takes time for you to establish yourself once you are stepping into this stripper world. Take your time. No need to rush. The money will come. The money will come. So my advice to the new dancers is to take your time. Next question. Are you mentally able to handle dancing in the sugar baby life how do you manage now back when I first started I had to figure things out and um, yeah all in all yeah 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 I was mentally able to handle the dancing and the sugar baby life like I was a um, I came, I came from pressure. I came from the ghetto. I come from the inner city slums of 53206. So I'm no stranger to pressure. And um, pressure makes diamonds. So yes, I was able or I am able to handle my sugar baby lifestyle and my stripper lifestyle. I do have a balance of my dark film side. I, I do know when to be stern. I do know when to be firm. I, because in the beginning, things was a little rocky. And men are... <clears throat> Let me drink some water. It's 
if men do see that you are a easy target, if they see that they can get over on you, if they see that they can control you, that predatorial masculinity from the male will take place and you will wind up getting taken advantage of, sis. So definitely beware of that. I'm not going to sit up here and lie and say that I've never been took advantage of because that just comes along with the territory that is a part of the game. That's how you learn. I've definitely been prey. I've definitely been preyed upon, but I recognized it. <laughs> I recognized it. I talked to a couple of the more experienced girls and they were able to help me kind of shift to make sure that I'm not doing those things again. So yeah, it comes along with the game. And um, being a sugar baby and being a stripper, it will take a toll on your mental that's a whole nother video that i will create like glitz in the glam is always displayed on the youtube platform people hardly ever talk about the struggles and the dark side and the hardship of being a stripper and being a sugar baby i will make that into an entire other video because that will take a while now i have mastered this shit down to a science i know what to do when to do it how to do it how to move it's basically a template that i've been able to design for myself and it works it works 100 percent of the time especially with the people that i choose to interact with yeah last but not least what made you want to start dancing i didn't want to start dancing i was forced into this lifestyle like i said i come from area code 53206 <laughs> need i say that again and I was forced into this lifestyle. I didn't pick it. But now, since I am older and I have the option to choose, I see that it is very lucrative. I see that it is very empowering. I see, I see that it builds character. I see that it is beneficial so now since i have the option i have the choice i decided to stick around in the exotic entertaining game and decided to stick around in the sugar babying world but to answer that question what made me start dancing what made me want to start dancing i didn't want to start dancing i was forced into this lifestyle So for those of you that has a choice, who picked it, kudos to you, but that's not my story. I'll do an in-depth video on how I started. I'm sure it's, it's making me emotional just thinking about it, but I'll do an in-depth video on how I started with this lifestyle. All of our stories is different, and I'm sure I have a different story from the next person do i like being a sugar baby do i like being a dancer hell yeah i do <laughs> yes i do uh, you get to pick and choose your own schedule me i've made a shitload of money a ton and i still do i'm still young i still i'm still vibrant i'm still healthy i look good as fuck <laughs> I look good as fuck and this is all natural and um give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel because there is more where this came from bye